Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have your formula reference cells and data table structured, it's fairly easy to fill it in with the formula's values for the various input values that you have in your data table. To do this, select the cell range that includes the formula being evaluated, the input column or row, and the output column or row. So here, to figure out the commission, we would input our formula. Then we would make our selection. Then we would select Data from the menu bar and choose Table. This will launch the Data Table dialog box. Click the Collapse Dialog button at the end of Row Input Cell to collapse the dialog box, which allows you to select the cell from the Formula Reference Table, which represents the variable that is changing in the input row, if you have one. Then you can click the Expand Dialog Box button to expand the Data Table dialog box when you're finished. You could also click the Collapse Dialog button at the end of the Column Input Cell to select the cell from the formula reference table which represents the variable changing in the input column if you have one. So in this single variable data table we do have an input column and so we would click that particular collapse dialog button and then select the value in our reference table that's represented by that changing value. Expand the dialog box and click OK to fill in the values. And there you can see the amount of commission based on a 10% commission rate at each one of these sales levels. You can see we could easily change the rate in the actual reference table, which then automatically we would recalculate the single variable data table. So in a single variable table, you would only fill in one of those two boxes. The one which you chose depends on whether you created the data table using a column layout or a row layout. However, in a double variable data table, you must fill in both boxes, indicating which cell reference in the formula reference table will be used for your input column and which cell reference will be used for your input row. So once again, you input the formula to be evaluated and it must go in the upper left corner. You then select the formula, the input row, and the input column, and the output grid. Then select data and table from the menu bar. For the row input cell, which is the percentages, click the collapse dialog button and select in this case the commission rate. Expand the dialog box and for the column input cell, collapse the dialog box and select, in this case, the amount, or the second variable that changes down the column. Then click OK to fill in the values. And so we can see how much we would make at this amount of sale for these different commission rates. Note that you can now adjust the amount or the commission rate to change the variables. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.